I'm at the Engineering Technology Group's impressive facility here in Southam. I've come to talk to Steve Brown about Nakamura. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. So I'm inside the permanent trade show here and I've come to look at the Nakamura machines. We've got the NTRX 300, the WT250, but we're going to start with the AS200 and Steve's going to give us a little bit of information about all of these machines, starting with this one. So Steve, what about what is or the concept of the AS200L? So the AS200L is a, a second generation from the, the AS200 short bed that we, we, we launched at the last Mac exhibition. Um, and this machine is taking on from that, so now we offer it with a tail stock um, and a subspindle configuration. So the first generation you couldn't have a subspindle? No, no that's correct. So that was just a, a single spindle um, with a 15 station turret and Y axis. And would this be an area where Nakamura have never had a machine before in a twin spindle single turret arena? Um, effectively, they, they have um, different range, different products within that portfolio, but this, this machine uh, has been based around um, and is competitively priced around, around the entry level market, yes. Because I've seen the AS200 uh, without the L, yes. and I know it's a pretty diddy machine, we've seen a few installations. Yep. Would you say that's one of the characteristics that is attractive to people as well as the quality of the machine? Definitely, definitely. Again, obviously in the UK market, space is always a key. So the footprint of the machine is second to none, along with the specification. So we've got twin spindle, we've got driven tools, we've got a Y-axis as well? Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct, yeah. What's the dimension in the what on the Plus Y? Plus or minus 41 mil on the Y-axis. So a big Y-axis for a fairly small machine. What yeah. about the bar capacity on this? Bar capacity is 65 mil on the main spindle. We do have an option, we can up that to 71 mil. Um, and then we go to a second op of 52 mil. Well, I can see this being a popular machine for you. So that's machine number one. Let's go yep. on to the WT250. Uh, where does this differ? Tell me about this model. So this, this, this machine, again, the configuration we have now, uh, two turrets and, and two spindles. Um, this particular machine uh, has got two opposing spindles of the same, same calibre, so the same power, the same through bore. So would it be fair to say you've almost got two machines in one here? If you, exactly. if you drew a diagonal line from yes. through the turret, you'd have yes. one machine on the left, one on the right. Yeah, so spindle, spindle power, spindle horsepower, and the torque is exactly the same from the front end to the, to the, to the back end. So predominantly speaking, the second not work, we've still got, you've still got enough room for beyond the spindle. We talk about this machine being uh, two machines in one. Who's, who's going to buy it? Where, where, where's it going to fit? So basically, moving on from the AS, the, the people that are based around this will be looking at high production. So this machine is di designed as a boxway machine, so it's very, very robust. We can take a billet, or we can take a raw material through as a, as a, with a bar feed, and the parts capturing everything that we've got built in. It's a fully automated, fully production built machine. So the bar capacity? 65 mil on the main spindle and on the sub spindle. So basically equal. How are you going to program something like this? I know that control uh, Looks pretty, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, show us. We've got a collision. So basically, you've, here. You've, you've got a number of options. The uh, the control has manual guard eye, so it's basically a conversational way of programming the machine. Uh, we also have a, a 3D model uh, built into the machine that's helping for collision guarding. So obviously, with, with two spindles and two turrets, obviously dancing around, it's quite important for that to be monitored. So you've got high value components yes. you don't want to smash. So it's yep. not just down to the operator, but the, the machine will take care of you as, as well. So you can do all that, and that's what this screen is here, isn't yes. it? That's the anti-collision. That's the model of the machine. Again, um, built into the control, um, we have a, a, a production simulation. So at the end of every day or every week, you can take out a series of graphs that will show you the production of, of the machine. So you can see whether you're getting the best out of the machine or your operator. Exactly, yes. Okay, that's great. So that's the WT, more for production. On to the NTRX machine. But would it be fair to, for me to say that the AS200 is where the Nakamura range starts and this yep. is where it ends? But there's yes. lots in between, I know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Certainly the, the, the Nakamura range from, from multi-axis side is, is, is vast. Um, but again, as well as the AS, this configuration machine is very, very popular in, in the UK. And Nakamura have seen that and gone away and developed a, a machine using some of Nakamura's key features. So what is it? Twin spindle with a milling head? Yes, so we have a 12,000 12, RPM head, um, again with uh, 40 tools, 80 or 120. Uh, this particular machine has um, two 80 mil through bores. And what about the, the build of the machine when it comes to milling? Is it capable in that environment? Could you take a part and can you mill Inconel? 
So this, this machine, the philosophy behind Nakamura, all they've ever done is design and build layers. Okay? Obviously the rigidity of the milling comes from, from a, a milling machine and they've taken that philosophy uh, with a C-frame style at the back which gives them a unique um, column. Uh, so you've got the C-frame type, so as you've got with a VMC, like you yes. say, the way that's built and designed, they brought that across to this type of machine. That's correct, yes. With, obviously, two turning spindles two, two to the spindles, left and right. Yes. The tool changes to the left here, so does that mean it's quite easy to access to load tools? Yes, yeah, so you can load through the door here. Yeah. Um, it's got pre-select, so there's no, there's no downtime on the, on the, on the machine. Yeah. Um, we have a, a, a parts gripper system here, so basically, again, Nakamura always keeping in the production element is that we can take a raw billet in and we can take a finished part out. So at the end there we have a, a double belt conveyor where you'll have a raw billet coming in and then the finished part going out. So there's no downtime in the machine. So this is this, this will always So be pretty me. much that's always cutting metal. Yes. Which is what you need as a manufacturer. That that head, what's the uh, what can it or what can it uh, tilt to and tip to? So you've got plus or minus 115 degrees. Um, so again, it's a full five axis head. So we've got full five on the main spindle and full five on the sub spindle. Um, so you, it's uh, you, all, all encompassing. And how new is this model? This, this was launched at our permanent trade show uh, six months ago. Okay, and when we, we look at the control, we've got similar capability on this control as you have with the other machine, so you don't have to worry about collisions, because again, you're probably yeah. definitely going to be high value components yes, when you yes. talk so about So again, this. you have, this, they have exactly the same features across all the Nakamura range. Um, and again, just a few, uh, we have now we have a, a, an alarm raised to show that the door's open. So it means that the, the control is Windows based, Nakamura can incorporate all live images of the machine and point to the operator exactly where the, where the alarm is. So there you have it, a really good insight from Steve there into the Nakamura range. We started with their entry level machine and finished up here with their NTRX 300, which is a really complex machine tool for high value component manufacturing. You can see all the Nakamura machines on mtdcnc.com or you can come here to the permanent trade show and see them in the flesh. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD online on Twitter.